we have a connection now with the United States with Will Morton, the new player of Donor. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Where are you now? Uh, I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, so right, right in kind of the middle of the country. And that's where you live. Yep. And how is the Corona crisis over there? What, what, what do you uh, uh, feel about that? How, how is it the situation over there? Uh, it's been interesting. So every state's kind of handled it a little differently. So the whole country went on lockdown uh, kind of early uh, April. Um, and then moving forward, each state's kind of reopened on their own timeline. So Minnesota has been a little slower than others. Um, but you've also seen cases ramping up in other places. Um, so yeah, Minnesota, you know, it's been, it's been a tough time because, you know, it's been hard to get in the gym at times. Um, but overall, you know, I think it's, Minnesota's handled it pretty well. So I've, I've felt safe here, which has been good. And how did you deal with the situation that you couldn't play for, for a couple of months? Yeah. So you gotta get creative with it. You know, you play outside a lot, um, kind of figure out some at home workouts. Gyms have now opened up now, so I can use the weight room, um, at different gyms and also, Go and work out my, by myself. The, the biggest thing is just, you know, you can't play as much five on five basketball, um, which has kind of been an issue throughout the whole country. But um, things are starting to slowly open up, so I'm hopeful I'll be able to, uh, you know, get a few more runs in before I leave and come out to the Netherlands. But uh, overall, it's, it's been a good summer of working out. Okay. Well, uh, nobody knows you, of course. We, we've seen some uh, videos and pictures, of course. But tell us something about your career so far. Yeah, so I went to a, um, a smaller college, it's called Stonehill College, we played in Division II, um, but I really, I had a great four years, um, I was lucky to be able to go there and start all four years, so um, I think whereas some other guys might come over from America having played, you know, one or two years of really high major basketball at schools you've heard of, I've had the advantage of getting significant playing time for the last four years, um, had a great college career, you know, I had made great friends, had great coaches, uh, had a lot of team success. It was, it was really a fantastic four years, and I'm, I'm just really excited to get to keep playing. Um, but yeah, coming over, you know, I think, I think I've got a lot of skills I can be able, be able to carry over. And I read that you, had the, you were on the fourth place of the all-time score list of the college. Yep, yep. Came in fourth in all-time scoring and uh, second in three-pointers made. Well, that's good. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, and then, all of a sudden, donut call. What did you think about that? Uh, I was thrilled. Um, so, you know, I think for a lot of rookies to be able to get an offer of this level and anyone will be ecstatic, um, to, you know, to be able to play in either the Europe Cup or, or the Champions League or whatever whatever other league we end up in and also playing in the Dutch League. Um, you know, it's it's a tremendous honor. It's, it's one of those things, you know, my, my goal my whole life has been able to play overseas and play professionally and to be able to start off my career at a place like Donar and such a great town with great fans, it's... Um, you know, it really is a dream come true. I'm super excited. Did you already Google Donor and see some games? What's happening over there? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, it was actually, so I've been kind of in communication, have heard about this club for maybe two and a half months by now. Um, and so right when I heard about, you know, first thing I did, I was actually on a road trip. And the first thing I did was uh, hop on YouTube and look up some of their games in the Euro Cup. Um, you know, I was doing a ton of research about the city. It looks like a really fun, young, vibrant city. For sure. Um, so yeah, you know, I've never been to Groningen, but uh, pretty, pretty. Uh, I feel like I've already been there. And it probably it feels like an adventure for you because it's first time overseas to play. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. I mean, first, first extended time for sure. I was, I was lucky. I got to be able to play on a team that spent a week playing in Greece last summer, um, and so that was really my first European experience leaving leaving the continent. Um, but this will, you know, it'll definitely be a, a bigger step up for me to go and spend 10 months in Holland. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm excited for it. And what is the most interesting thing you're looking forward to when you come over here? The way to play, the way to live, uh, how the club, uh, functions in the, here in Groningen? You know, honestly, I'm, I'm excited for the whole process of it all, you know, kind of seeing, learning about the new culture, um, the European culture, everyone says, you know, they just absolutely love the lifestyle out there. Um, but also from a basketball perspective, you know, I get to I get to play at the highest level possible that I could be at right now, and I think that's um, that's really what I'm most excited for is just you know the the opportunity to play with really really talented guys and you know see how see how far we can go. Yeah, what what, what can we as a fans? What can we expect? I read that you're a good uh, uh, shooter, also a good wing player. What what's going to be the most important things? 
Yeah, you know, I think I think I'm a smart player. Um, I have a high basketball IQ, so to me, it's not it's not so much about all the scoring. You know, I I was fortunate to be able to do a lot of that in college, but the most important thing is winning. So I'm I'm going to try to make the the best possible play in every every time I'm down the court. Um, I'm versatile. You know, I can guard a few positions. I can play offensively. I can play a few positions. Um, so yeah, you know, I think fans can just expect a guy that's going to give absolute maximum effort on every possession and. Uh, yeah, just a uh, just a hardworking kid. Did you already uh, seen how many people can attend the game at Donar? I think I read about six thousand, right? No, oh, four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay, yeah. well that's that's a lot of people. It's, that, it's that, the that biggest place awesome. in Holland to play basketball. Really? No, I'm I'm actually that's what I'm most excited for is the fans and uh, no, I've I've seen the little videos of the fans going crazy and. Um, it seems like a great community. You know, the second I signed, I started getting messages on Instagram from uh, from some some Dutch fans, and it was it was really cool. So you know, I already feel like I'm a part of the community. Yeah, Donor is pretty active on social media, like Twitter and Facebook, and we got a lot of uh, fans, of course, and they like to yeah. get connection with you, players. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, I was the same way around. I like it too, so it's it's all exciting. Do you already know what kind of number you're gonna play? Eh? Uh, yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Okay. Yep, 22. Back to my number in high school. And of course, we don't know for sure how things will develop with the virus and all the all the rules that are now um, uh, in order. So when we're really going to play for audience, not sure. But of course, we all look looking very forward that you're going to come to Groningen and play the games. Yeah, me too. I, I am really excited and can't wait to. Can't wait to get to meet the fans and watch, have them be able to watch us play. And for the next couple of weeks, just uh, practice and uh, get strong and healthy. Yep, yep. That's the uh, that's the game plan. Just pretty much just doing everything I can to step in day one and try to contribute in any way. Well, great. Thank you very much, Will. Nice to meet you, and we we see each other in Martini Plaza in Groningen. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.